two, three, go. Action! How everybody? Welcome to Twinecast episode. I guess it's number three. Yeah, we made it until here. That means that we're gonna push this shit far ahead. So today I decided to talk about a topic that I was talking to you back. In Germany, it was 2017 when I was in Bonn, okay? When I was in Bonn, and it was a Christmas day, and over a Christmas, I decided to take... Uh, I discovered something that was, for me, astonishing, you know, because I found... A, it was like this. I had my studio. I was in a studio there. I was working in a studio there. And uh, I found an old cassette, cassettes cassette tapes, you know, and I started listening to the music, but I ran to some empty stuff and stuff. I said, okay, why shouldn't I not try to listen to my music, how they sound in the cassette tapes? And when I recorded, I was like, yo, man, you gotta be joking with me. This sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, F amazing, mind blowing. I was like reborn. Okay. And yeah, and since then, I explained you something, but I didn't get like, I didn't do that deep dive and stuff like why and how and stuff like that, you know. By the way, cassette tapes are. Tape itself is a tape. Tape itself, it's a. It's used for a different types types of recording. Like for example, you got the movies, like thirty five million matters back in the days. You got uh, photography. You, I think also, or I'm wrong. No, no, no. Uh, I was wrong about that. You got music. You got audios and all, but. Cassettes were actually invented invented for dictation. Okay. So especially for the journalists or in the interrogation room when the CIA is interrogating you, where is the guns and shit? Uh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, really, it was meant about that. But um, as you may know, it comes from Belgium. It was invented uh, in 1963 by the Royale and by Mr. Jan, John Olofsson and his team or something like that, whatever. Then Philips take over and yeah, from 963 the cassette tapes are, they were used for dictation, but after that they use it for, for masters, like for cassette, for distribution, for music and all that stuff, like if you, guys remember like this generation there are 90s kids like me because i'm a 90s kid okay so um and i'm really happy that i grew up in 90s because it was the best time definitely because i had a you know because i'm the millennial generation so we got the internet we got we grew up with all these things that kids now can just dream of because we had the internet back in the days we got cassette tapes and we got cds and we got lps so now for example when you have a lp it's for a record okay for the big ones like that one over there the black one that i don't use it on my techniques over there and this is a mc it stands for magnetic field audio okay and uh yeah, which I play with this bad boy over here. The, I think it's a technique still. <laughs> Actually, wow, that's odd. I mean, yeah. Actually, this one is a, it's a gift from a friend, a really good friend of mine. He's a really good, uh, he really knows how to handle when I talk about these two boys, two bad boys, like, about 
yeah because he's an audiophile and he likes collecting cassette tapes and uh, lps especially lps and vinyls and stuff so yeah he gave me this one and i use this one because it has implemented inside a dbx compressor is on it okay so it was made i think it was 19 1986 or something uh it was developed yeah it was made but it's it's crazy i mean if you have this left and right you got the cd in tape and i try a lot of things to record on it to be honestly i also i'm recording this voice right now it goes directly to the to the deck and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you i'm gonna play you a few examples that you can find down below the links don't forget if you want to hear the listen how the cassette tape sounds with or without on mixes okay it's a little bit weird you know because you got that noise if you wanna cl this clarity and this clearness ah, this digital you know stuff then don't ex expect it please don't expect that because you won't get that but what you can get is this what's the difference what what is the difference between digital and analog i can tell you this back in the days i was in a studio i was in at the stealth recordings i think yeah i was at the stealth with antonia with anton Dilecto, who is a part of, with me together in in my jazz band torius funk power actually in our jazz band that we created and that's only me and him we made this album for about four days only it takes us like four days and all this room that you can hear on that album la rouge in french means the red or red so yeah and while we were at the studio and stuff and we were playing his yamaha synthesizer we put it on the on the mix and i think we had a yamaha n12 mixer which was which has a really sweet compressor on it but however uh then we put it louder at as louder we, we were getting okay it was not these monitors okay we didn't use the dyna videos we were on car car care k i don't know what's the name because i don't like those monitors that's just crap for me for me are only three monitors in the world that's yamaha dyna with you and barefoot that's it and uh, however then we put an analog synthesizer okay and then i was pulling the volume up and how the volume was going up it was just going up and the clarity the sound was fat and was there it was right there okay that's the difference between the digital outputs and the analog outputs okay so these analog outputs they go in the preamps preamps of the yamaha which the yamaha had amazing preamps the n12 the mix it's amazing it's a controller plus it's a sound card and it's a really good thing uh it's implemented with cubase but however uh let me get back to the to the point with the analog so it's the same with the cassette tape it's the same with the vinyl the louder you get for example i record my song i uh that will soon i will drop it out or any i record some stuff on like hip-hop music that is today uh, i don't want to mention which artists and stuff i just record his music and a client and i was listening on my cassette tapes and i go just put it louder and the kick and the snare and everything that i produced on the track was there there was a noise yes of course but there was also this natural stereo rightness you know it's it's a natural saturation you got this natural it's not a plug-in it's not a you, you know what i mean i think those people who are into audio file files and audio fields or how they call them they really get me what i'm trying to say uh there is a one guy engineer from germany from ecm recordings i really respect his work 
but I didn't respect him when he said, ah, forget about analog, it's bullshit, it's like crap. Digital is the thing. Okay. Yes. For certain things, yes. But man, I so disagree with that. I so disagree with that. Why? Because when I put all my mixes through the cassette tape, my clients are, they don't know actually what I did, but I'm telling you right now what I'm doing with my clients. Actually, I get the mix, I prepare it, it's finished, then I go to the tape, I record it on a tape, I go back and work, back and forth, record it, and then I go to the box, and I fix that noise in the box, and then I, I have this fatness still, and then I send it directly to the mastering engineer, he takes out auto, he pulls the volume, he makes what he needs to do, and yeah, we had a talks with Mike Marsh for at the exchange recording, uh, at the exchange mastering studios in London, who is my personal mastering engineer of the music that I create and yeah I always listen to uh, the suggestions from my mastering engineers because at the end of the day they are in charge for the final product as I mentioned on the previous episodes so that's all for now so if you like the things that I'm talking don't forget to subscribe leave that like button and until the next one, your boy Tuan. Stay tuned, more to follow. Episode 4 is on the way with a new content and everything. But if you want that to go on, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like button. And if you think that there is, what do you think about and do you prefer analog or digital? I really want to know. Feel free to comment below. Peace out.